G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is a Signal 50 sniper rifle. It's a GM Lynx, but they call it a Signal 50 in its game that it's from. This is a port from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2022. It is a beta, it is a work in progress, so we'll keep things pretty quick here. It's got custom reload animations, custom sounds, and the recoil is controllable. It's like you're using a weapon from COD, so it's going to be very easy to use, very easy to handle. Doing 301 damage, and that is basically all you can do unless just stick a suppressor on this and have ace operated which we will be doing however let's go ahead and uh utilize this thing and uh get some attachments going so we could have a faster reload it's a sleight of hand magazine it gives you the sleight of hand perk for faster reloads and you've got a bunch of cool muzzle brake looking things that don't reduce your range so they can help with recoil without penalizing your sniper effectiveness and you also got a bunch of suppressors including a wrapped one which it's down lower so that means it's better right no just kidding it's all just uh the same just different skins on the uh suppressors so perhaps maybe going in the future maybe you could give these slightly different stats and possibly slightly higher requirements on perks so you could have this thing decked out at gun nut rank four maybe a rank of science or two for an advanced suppressor that'll increase your range because the extra barrel space is, well uh that's actually right there we'll chuck on the heavy suppressor which is the same weight as a monolithic suppressor and the, also the same weight as the minor suppressor. Okay, I get it. Work in progress. Let's move on. Now, we can have an extended barrel, a short barrel. That'll be good for closer ranges and just to shoot more in vats usually. But extended barrel will give us a range of 730, which is practically infinite range because at anything out of rendered distance, you won't be able to shoot at anyway. And this will probably be long enough that you'll just hit everything for 100% damage all the time. So this is going to be a very dedicated sniper weapon, although this number is not that high. If we can get back and shoot things in the head with a 4.4 times multiplier, I think we should be just fine. You've got a couple of different scopes, including a night vision scope and a thermal scope, which has this cool little microwave on top of that if you want to use it. You can't actually use it, but it's also got this cool honeycomb looking pattern thing on the lens of the scope, which I think is awesome. That's sick. And also a legendary effect is there if you need it. I'm actually really tempted to do instigating on this thing, but I will refrain. All right, the work in progress, not all, not all is seen here. Obviously there's a couple of picatinny rails there, there and there. Bipods, four grips may be applied in the future, but it's a hot mod, so I'll bait into it. Let's have a look at this thing. Just like all civilized weapon mods, you'll find this thing on a chemistry workbench under weapon signal 50, and you can craft it for gun nut rank 4 and these materials. Easy peasy. Okay, so we're outside of the immersive gunners plaza once again. Here is the GM6 Lynx slash signal 50. That's probably the worst name you could call a sniper ever. A signal is something you receive from a radio. You receive hot lead at high velocity from a sniper rifle. Maybe they could work on the naming of this thing. A little bit of a misnomer as it is now. Anyway, so this is the one with the suppressor and the thermal scope. And as you can tell, the thermal scope just behaves exactly like a recon scope. Where the actual thermal scope functionality that we've seen in other mods will be added to this gun pending further updates, I'm not sure. But right now, it's just a standard old vanilla game scope. Anyways, so this thing in third person looks like this. Also, worth noting, the barrel reciprocates when you fire. Very nice, very realistic, very good for controlling the Rico, which there seems to be very little. And when I aim at something, I'll just aim at the very top of this uh, power pole thingy. There's no scope sway at all, so it's going to be very steady as we aim it as well. That's a plus. Combine that with the super range, this thing might be extremely powerful to shoot stuff uh, from longer ranges where they wouldn't normally be able to see you. So that's what we'll be doing with this thing. Also, new hair. Wearing the hair up for once. Uh, I thought that was a cool little hairstyle that I got. I've got all these hair mods, but I don't ever use them. I just use the standard hairs. And also got one with a night vision scope without a suppressor. Obviously, without ace operator, this thing is a lot weaker. Continuing the trend of Fallout 4's uh, 50 Browning rounds being underpowered. Uh, Browning machine gun rounds, of course, um, being underpowered. It's a little bit like that. Uh, for reference of damage, if I've got a Gauss rifle with a suppressor on, this th on it, it does about a thousand damage. So we're only doing about... A little bit over a third of that and that could be a problem but there's a couple of things we have 
in our favor here. Namely, we've got like supreme bats accuracy. Um, since this thing's range is so high, anything we can see in bats, we can shoot. And there's a nice uh, slow motion 50 BMG that looks nothing like a BMG. That looks more like a 308 round, doesn't it? I guess it's the same thing in terms of what the game is trying to say, but I guess we could utilize this, this thermal scope just to literally scope everything out. I don't know if there's a limit to the amount of things you can actually use with the scope, but I guess we'll get started. We'll try to find someone who's sitting still. That one was actually sitting. And then we'll try to get as many headshots as we possibly can to get these snake criticals, because if we don't, I don't think we'll be able to one-shot these guys. So, potential massive skill reward things going on here. And now I'm getting screen shake because someone up there has a MG42. And now they're clipping through the walls. But going on about that guaranteed VAT accuracy, if you can't, if you can't be bothered aiming... And here comes a bullet. There it is. And a nice little uppercut from a bullet. That That's realistic. And we can even add a critical there just to add insult to injury, even though these are guaranteed hits anyway. And there's four gunners eliminated in just a few little bits of vats from there. So if you feel like you're overwhelmed, I guess uh, we'll do that. And we'll try it. Okay, this foliage is not helping. We'll try to find a little bit of cover here, and then... No, okay. I'm just going to reposition. Right now, the gunners think I'm over there. They're not entirely clueless. They'll go to where you last shot. What is that? That's a zombie hyena. Was a zombie hyena. But now we've got this whole open area here, and there's still a couple of gunners that are sitting up the top there, as I'm giving myself a flickering seizure. There we go couple of hits there. I think that one was nailed in the head. That'll, that'll end you. And now they've got to trek all the way up the hill, which leaves them pretty exposed to me. So we'll try to get some of those guys. I don't think they're a threat. I'll try to kill the ones that are advancing on me. Which one of you has the MG? Okay, never mind. We're not going to hit that guy. Hitboxes say no. So we're going to crit him. That's what I think. We actually got that quick reload before we got that crit off, so I was not expecting that. Is that the MG42? Nope, that's laser. You're right there. Let me see if I can... There we go. This is what you get. No hacking. No cheating in my Minecraft server. And it's... We're holding our own right now. I'd love to be getting more headshots, but I simply just can't see the enemies in the foliage here. That would be... Uh... Summer of the Commonwealth messing me up a little bit right there, but that's okay. We can, we'll persevere, and maybe if we can hit up these guys, they're moving in pretty slowly. Yep, that's nice. If you can get them into a view where you can have a few that are... I thought she was saying, let's rock to me, though. Was, she was actually shooting at that ghoul over there. That's a pretty nice distraction, actually. That might be exactly what I needed. And whilst you're reloading there. Well, that's what happens when you're not getting sneak criticals. You're hitting these guys four or five times before they drop with 50 BMGs. And I just ate that plasma bolt. There we go. Maybe when we clear out the ground crew, we'll switch over to... Alright, never mind. We're in danger now. Let's begin. So, through my preliminary testing, I've tried to test the bash damage because usually Warfighter makes it COD-like or simulates how powerful melee attacks are in COD multiplayer. And you are getting shot in the face. We had a critical here. Well, that is a very intense reload. Also, a really cool shot of that muzzle break. That kind of reminds me... Of that um, shot in Star Wars Episode 3 where Commander Cody tells the ATT gunner to take a shot at um, Obi Wan when he's riding that lizard monster thing. Like you see the you see the muzzle right up, and now I'm going to bats everything because let's just hypothetically say if I want to 
kill this guy without the use of sneak criticals. That's two chain headshots, and he was only one of the weaker ones. And I gotta compete with all of that extra recall doing this, and they're going to be moving around. I'll have to kill that there. I don't know if that was a little babby gunner there. But that guy, he's a brigadier. He's a little bit stronger, and this guy will he will take it. We don't have any reflex sight options to switch over to, so I guess I'm just going to try to hip fire this guy. Wow, I killed him with a bash kill and it didn't crash the game. Excellent. Anyways, it's Call of Duty mode, so I'll whack my sensitivity right up. And then spin around, maybe another time, and then... Bang. That would have looked sick for her because I'm in slow motion. Okay. I think we're done with this thing. Honestly, I don't think this thing has the power, nor do I have the patience to run a 15-minute gorilla, possibly even longer operation to do it. So, uh, this is a work-in-progress mod, so I won't give it a full run-through. But I think there's a couple of things we can all agree on here. Um, it needs more power, whether that be from extra receivers going forward. I think that would be the way to go having actual thermal scopes some extra call of duty like attachments some extra call of duty perks along that which i'm pretty sure would all be in the works right now but yeah just for something a little bit uh same same but also different look i'm a sucker for the hot mods i'll always download them and try them out so you know for a, a beta there's a lot to work on but i think this weapon is worth having a look at if you're interested in this but if you like this weapon but want to have a more finished version there's always the gm6 links actual mod which i don't think is a cod port and it will be a complete weapon with actual good damage and end game potential so yeah probably download that if you are interested in this particular weapon and then wait for this one to come along and maybe you could pretend they're like gm6 links from different manufacturers or something Links in the description if you're interested. Thank you very much for watching, guys.